Hey folks, having trouble with your crepe myrtles, not blooming on schedule with you? We'll talk a little bit about crepe myrtles. We have the famous dynamite crepe myrtle with the explosion of color, probably one of the most popular ones. Uh, there's early, mid-season, and late-season varieties of crepe myrtles as far as their blooming cycle goes. So yours could be just a late blooming variety, but they will usually start around May as far as their blooming, and some of the late ones could be as, as late as August to start blooming. Uh, also, you want to make sure if your crepe myrtle is getting a little bit of shade, uh, maybe just a half a day in the afternoon or something like that, then the flowering is going to be a bit, little bit more delayed, so it, it might uh, still going to flower, but a little bit later. And of course, if you're having trouble getting anything to flower, it's always good to apply a bloom fertilizer or a flowering fertilizer uh, to the plants maybe a month, maybe two months before, and you'll get more flowers and bigger flowers and have a great crepe myrtle season. Now another little trick with crepe myrtles, the early blooming varieties, the ones that bloom first and maybe even the mid-season varieties, once their first flowering is finished, our summers are so long in Central Florida we can deadhead those, cut those spent flowers off and there's enough time left in the summer that they can re-bloom a second time. Uh, also there's this thing called crepe murder and you may have seen the crepe myrtles cut too low, cut severely, maybe cut at the same point every year so they develop knots and everything else. Uh, and really the truth is that crepe myrtles do not have to be pruned. Uh, you might prune out any bad limbs, any limbs that are, are rubbing, but you do, do not need to prune crepe myrtles unless you're trying to keep them in balance or something. Thanks folks, Jim Hunter with your short and sweet tip of the day.